Hey guys, what is up? And today we are going over a quick little tutorial on some of the changes that they made to commands and the, slip, the slash set block command, uh, as well as blocks themselves. So this is just, I mean, it's really basic, but some of you might get lost and not understand this uh, when you first jump into 1.13, whatever that is. So I decided to go over it anyway. So every block in 1.13 has its own name now. So first off, if before you might have done slash set block these coordinates to stone damage of five and that'll give you like andesite that's what happens in 1.12 but if you want to have andesite you have to type the name andesite and that will make it andesite um so they got rid of damage values for blocks basically there is no such thing as a damage value anymore so when you type slash set block i mean first off it won't tell you here you go it'll tell you right here block position destroy keep replace there's no block damage to store key place so they got rid of damage numbers um, every block is its own block and uh, there's no damage values which is good and bad at the same time it's good for people that are making mods and stuff i believe so because it just means that with the new system they have you can add blocks really easily uh, i don't know if that was necessarily a problem before because i didn't do too much with that but that's the good part about it the bad part is that you have to know the names of everything uh, usually you can use tab completion, you know, you can do set block and then cobble to start to, start to uh, type the name and double tab and it'll give you a list of things that are similar named. So what we want to do is create, uh, do a set block with this. Let me actually have a different version just so that we can have that for reference. So here is a upper slab. So this is going to be our target area right here. So let's go like that and that's our target block that we want to put this on so we do slash set block and you can guess i use double tab right here right when i come to the position i hit tab twice and it'll give me the position of what i'm looking at then you put the block so we look at that we know it's cobblestone slab so we can just assume the name is cobblestone underscore slab and it is now if you do that it'll just give you that so now you hit f3 or function f3 depending on how your controls are set up and it'll give you, look at this right side. So this right side is what's important. So we're gonna look over at this. And when we look at the uh, cobblestone block, we get a bunch of extra things here. So cobblestone slab, type, top, waterlogged, false. All right, so what is, and Minecraft colon slab, that's important for something later. Um, but anyway, so cobblestone slab, type is top, waterlogged is false. So if we wanna put this here, we do slash set block. And this is what a lot of people don't know first at first so cobblestone slab like we did before but instead we put these brackets these brackets mean that it's like a status of the block something and what goes in between these brackets are anything that's on this right side um, so type equals top will just as we saw it before type equals top it said type colon top we type type equals top and that will give us a top half cobblestone slab and we can also see that there's other stuff you can alter here so you can add a water log tag so Let's go waterlog equals true. And that will make it a half slab that's in the water. All right, so that's a new thing that you have to use the F3 menu. But the good news is there's less stuff you have to memorize that has to do with numbers. So before, to get this, you had to do uh, set block stone slab. So stone slab was for everything and you had to remember what damage value the top half of a cobblestone was which was i think eight or nine but now you can just you know that it's a cobblestone slab so it's very clear and you know that it's the top half just like that cobblestone slab top half so now we can just do such some extra stuff so we're gonna look at these other ones so there's stone brick stairs facing east just for practice facing east half bottom shape straight now i'm actually interested to see what they mean by shape straight and what other versions there are you can play around with that maybe you'll find something cool easter egg secret i don't know uh, but let's let's let me go over here and let's try and get that so we see that it's stone brick underscore stairs in the top right right here enter so that gives us that but that's not facing the right way and it's not the right thing we want so what we want is to do open close bracket facing equals east and now it's facing the right way if we want to be specific we can do half equals bottom but in this case it's not but we can do half equals top and it'll give us the upside down one 
Now let's do shape equals round. Shape equals uh, curved. I, I don't know. I don't know what other types there are because it says straight. So I assume there's another type. Try and figure out what that type is and let me know in the comments if you find out. Um, but yeah, so that's how to do the stairs. This, I just thought it was cool because you can get this smooth stone block without having to use a command block. You used to have to use a command block and some weird slash set block command in it. But now you can just have it as a block itself, and I use it in so many things. Um, all right, so here's something else. This is oak underscore log. And here we have a specific axis. So that's how you pick whether it's vertical, left to right, or forward and back. Instead of facing, you use axis. So axis equals y will make it up and down. Axis equals x will make it that way. Axis equals z will make it align with the z axis, which is this little blue arrow. That's the z axis. And there you go, pointing towards the z axis. All right, that's pretty much all there is with the set block command that has changed. Um, if you do, if I do this again, uh, hold on. If I do that with air, we can do destroy. You can still like you can still do destroy. So let's see stone destroy, and that'll still do the same thing. You can do keep. You can do replace, and all that good stuff. So you can still do the same stuff that you did before. You just have to remember that if you want to change the type of block instead of doing damage values you put in its data in these brackets, whatever that data is that you want. So the last thing that I'll go over in this very short video is the last thing is Minecraft colon slab, like this last bit of data that's not a part of the group. So this says slabs, this says stairs, this one doesn't have something, this one says logs, it also has oak logs. Now what it means by that is what type it's referring to when you say hashtag wool, or see, see this says wool, I'm looking at wool. This in the second group says wool. The name of the block is red wool, but the second group says wool. So this is like things that are grouped together. So before we could do set block air, there's like you could replace an entire area of any wool type, any damage value with air um, in order to keep this because since all wool blocks are different named, you can't do that anymore, but you can if you use hashtag wool. So let's actually try that. So this is just an additional thing. It's not with set block specifically, but it involves certain things that are involved with setting blocks, but this is using fill. So fill, you just pick an area and you fill it with whatever you want. Let's say air. Now we don't want to delete the center block, the uh, sandstone. We just want to replace the wool. So we'll do replace and we can put green wool, which is a name. And it won't do anything because there's no green wool there. Um, so let's type red wool. And it'll empty all the red wool. But if we have two types of wool and we want to get rid of all the wool itself, you can't do that. You would have to have two commands for that. But they added a grouping system for blocks. And it uses hashtag. So you do hashtag wool. And <coughs> excuse me. You do hashtag wool and this will delete all wool blocks. All things of that type. So just like with that, if I, if I put different types of logs and I used hashtag logs, it would delete all types of logs. If I used hashtag stairs, it would delete all types of stairs. If I used hashtag slabs, it would get rid of all types of slabs. So that's just one extra little bonus thing that they added in there. It can be good when you're using more complicated commands like detecting if they're standing on a wool block instead of a specific color. You just want any wool block or something like that. Anyways, guys. Very short one. Hopefully this helped you. If this uh, helps you learn something new about 1.13, go ahead and leave a like. Let me know any other things that you want to learn. Um, and other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.